In this next tutorial, we'll be looking at patterns inside of Photoshop and also how to create your own custom patterns. As you can see here, I've got a blank page which um, reflects the background in our layers palette. And if we wanted to apply a pattern to this particular object, I could go to the Edit menu and say Fill. The shortcut for it is Shift F5. As you can see here, the Fill will fill in the area, uh, either a selected area or in this case the entire layer. And I could use a foreground color, which would be red in this particular instance, or I could also choose from any number of these items down in the drop down list, the background color, any other color, and I can also choose a pattern. And as you'll notice here, custom patterns can be applied. Um, as well as some of the default patterns that you'll see here. And there's not too many to choose from right at the beginning inside of Photoshop, as you can see. But let's just take an example and choose one of these patterns and say OK. And as you can see, it's a repetitive pattern. And this pattern, once repeated, will create a tiling effect which will tile throughout the entire document, and in this case, the entire layer. If you had a selected area, you could do it that way. If you had a vector shape, you could also apply a special effect to that layer, which would be a pattern overlay. But we'll see more about that when we look at the tutorial on uh, layer styles and effects. So in this case, you can see one of these patterns and how it has been created. But in the next tutorial, what I'll be showing you is how to create your own custom patterns.